welcome to today's recipe of pulled pork with barbecue uh, barbecue pulled pork and um, it's a great recipe to do if you're feeding a crowd because you put it in the slow cooker and if you've got a low setting on your slow cooker you can leave it in that to serve to keep it warm um, so you either can feed a crowd or you get lots of leftovers either way I'd say that's a winner um, you see the way we eat it at the end but other things you can do with it is have it on jacket potatoes you could use it to make a lasagna type of thing um, instead of mince use that mixture um, the other thing I like to do is cook pasta and add a few peas and sweet corn at the end so there's some vegetables and then stir this sauce through so I start off with the pork um, shoulder this is 2.3 kilos of pork and I've just plonked it in the top there and then I'm going to add some salt just a little bit and then some oregano Which is quite a lot of oregano and then a vegetable stock cube so I'm just going to I've added the stock cube on top I'm just going to close it up and put on slow cooker on the longer setting and start and I'll leave it overnight and probably be about 18 hours that I'll cook it for so I'll reset it when it gets to zero and do it for another nine hours and then we'll be ready for the next um, day. Other things you can do for variations on this is to add an onion, um, to chopped onion to the mix. You could add cinnamon. You could add some chili powder or chili flakes. Um, you could add garlic um, or smoked paprika is quite nice. So it's the next day, the pork has been in the slow cooker for about 18 hours and I'm just gonna drain off all the juice that's come out of it. Ready for the next stage. The gravy is drained off. Um, you can see it's already starting to separate and the top layer is fat. So what I would do is I would take that layer of fat and um, either pour it off or let it cool and then it will be solid and just take it off so that you're left with a nice gravy. And we can use that later or um, save it and make a soup or something out of it. Um, <laughs> Ben's just taking the slow cooker for a walk, aren't you? Lucky slow cooker. Anyway, back to the back to the recipe. So here is the pork, and you can see just how tender it is because I'm just able to pull it apart with my fork. So I'm just going to shred it. Oh, and you can also see there's a bit of gravy at the bottom, maybe half a centimeter, but that doesn't matter. So I'm just going to take a couple of forks and shred the whole lot up. So the pork is all shredded. Obviously, the more patient you can be, and the finer you can shred it, the better it's going to be. And the next thing I'm going to add is this stubs. Um, barbecue sauce which I got at, oh it's not focusing very well which I got at Costco it's really good I usually put in about half the bottle you can see I've got half, about half the bottle left but you just basically add enough to make it all juicy if I got to the end of this and I put all of it in and it was still a bit dry then I would add a bit of my stock once I've taken the fat off um, to make it nice and so juicy so our pulled pork is ready to eat I've got mine in a brioche bun I like this a vegan coleslaw that I make with red cabbage and carrot and a cashew dressing that's from the deliciously Ella everyday book I think and there's rocket as well in mine Amy's got hers in a chia batter it's too good to eat what are you no. having with it mm. peppers tomatoes and cucumber and Ben how's yours he's playing with it is it tasty mm. so thumbs up or thumbs down Yeah. As it makes quite a big batch, what I tend to do is freeze portions like so, and I freeze them flat. And um, that will probably do two of us at least. Um, and I just take that out in the morning, and they do fr well. Not even in the morning sometimes they do fresh so fast. And um, once they're frozen, obviously you could store them the other way up. But that's a good way of keeping them. I hope you like the um, recipe. If you give it a go, don't forget to let me know. Leave a comment below um, if there's any variations you do. And don't forget to like and subscribe. See you again soon.